Now for again, this is question, right? Uh, recall the four steps of solving a quadratic inequality. Now first step, we want to make the right hand side zero, right? So it's as though we are solving a quadratic equation. Now for the second step, we want to ensure that the coefficient of x squared is positive. And the third step is to find the x-intercepts of the function, followed by step number four, which is to uh, sketch the curve. Okay, so first step, all right, in order for us to, uh, I mean, make the right-hand side zero, we probably have to do some manipulation and expansion. So one minus x squared using the uh, algebra identity, a squared, a minus b of okay, squared, a squared minus 2ab plus e b squared, all right? Now, if I were to just shift uh, 17 and 2x over to the left, this is minus 17 and plus 2x be greater than equals to 0. Following which, I will try to pack and I mean tidy up my terms. Now, I have two like terms that is negative 2x plus 2x. They will cancel off. Okay. I have x squared, uh, 1 and minus 17. These two are my like terms. So 1 minus 17 will give me an overall of a negative 16 greater than equals to 0. Now, if you watch my earlier video, you will know that I have reminded you that you cannot square both, square root both sides all right, to get the answer. So do not put 16 on the right side and you square root both sides because that is incorrect. That method will not get you the answer. Okay, so what I want to do here is you can see that this is uh, something like x squared minus 4 squared, okay? And what we want to do, right, if uh, first, of course, we have checked that, you know, we have made the right hand side positive, uh, 0, sorry. We have made the coefficient x squared positive. And now, we are going to find the x-intercepts, okay? So how do we find the x-intercepts? By solving the, so-called treating this like a quadratic equation. And we solve it by factorizing. So a squared minus b squared is a minus b a plus b greater than equals to zero okay so it's as though we are finding the x intercept and from here you can see that if i were to equate to zero your x intercepts basically would be x equals to negative four and four okay so step number four we go ahead to sketch the curve all right so if you go ahead to sketch the curve then uh Right, it's a happy face. At the x-axis, the x-intercepts are negative four and four. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you want to know that when you are sketching this graph, you are basically sketching y equals to x minus four, x plus four, and you want to find the corresponding values of x, the corresponding value of x that causes your function to be more than equals to zero. Now, this means that you want the y to be more than equal to 0 because you see this and this to be more than equal to 0. It means that you want your y to be more than equal to 0. Now, where is y more than equal to 0? Now, if you walk along the curve, you will find that the portion above the x-axis, all right, where more than equal to is always above the x-axis, that will allow you to see that it is more than equal to 0, okay? So what is the corresponding value of x that gives you this area? Here you can see that if I want your graph to be above in the, on the right hand side, x has to be more than equals to 4. On the left hand side, x has to be less than equals to minus 4. So these are the corresponding values of x that will make your function more than equal 0. These are the corresponding values of x here. That will push your function to be more than equal to zero more than equal to zero means we are talking about the y value to be more than equal to zero meaning that the graph is above the x-axis all right above the x-axis okay so finally we write out the answer the answer is x less than equals to minus four or negative four or x to be more than equals to four okay so do take note okay this is not an end you cannot have an end because you cannot have answers that fulfill both inequality at the same time. It is an or. Okay, it's under the left side.